So I've come to the conclusion that someday I'm gonna die and I don't know when that day is gonna be. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be in 10 minutes, it could be I could choke on my wine and die. I have no idea, but I'm not gonna hold off on making videos because I don't feel like uh, I'm prepared. This is all shit from last night. Um, whatever, this is completely besides the point. What I wanted to open this up to talk about was when it comes to making, I'm about to take a bath, I'm super excited about it. When it comes to making money in the strip club, it is time that you need. It's time. I mean, for the most part, and obviously this is, you know, possible, like someone will come in and just give you a shit ton of money for whatever reason and leave. But for the most part, it's time that we need. We have to be able to get in the dances. We have to be able to sort through the customers. We have to be able to talk to people and to do all the shit that comes with stripping. We just have to, that's what we have to do. So last night I made, technically I made over a thousand dollars in, okay, I got there, I think 10, I was on the floor by 10.30, and then um, I had my tip out was $80, so technically I would have made over a grand if it wasn't for that, but before I left, I had only made 600. Is that right? I definitely left with about $1,000. I have, I had made 940, and, and I would have made a grand if it hadn't been for the $80 tip out. Um, but I had to leave it too, right? But the last guy I talked to wanted to see me outside of work. So he wanted to give me, well, not if he wanted to, I asked him for 500 and um, he said four. I should have held my ground at five and I highly regret not doing that, honestly. Highly regret not doing it. So I went back to his place, danced for him. He was intoxicated and I, I knew he wanted more. So as soon as I got, and I told him, I said, I will dance for you. I said, we'll have our own private VIP. I will dance for you. Um, and I don't even know if I said anything besides that. I just said we would have a great time. And he was like, he said something about having sex with me or he said something about having rubbers. And I was like, that's not my cup of tea. I was like, um, you know, but if you want me to come over and you want us to do our own private VIP, I'm all on board. And he said, okay, I get there. I tell him I need to be paid up front. So he changed to four. I shouldn't have agreed to that. I shouldn't have agreed to that. Um, but I go in and have him pay me up front and he goes to start taking off his clothes. And I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, no, no, no. I was like, you are leaving your clothes on. And um, I ended up letting him, making him keep on his boxers. I need to make sure this doesn't get way too hot. Um, I ended up telling him, you know, as long as he just kept on his boxers, that was fine. And he told me to get naked. And I was like, I'm not getting naked for you. I was like, I will take off my top, um, but I'm not getting naked. So, okay, long story short, doesn't really matter. The night went how it went. It exactly two hours after I saw, I told him I would stay for two hours. It exactly two hours later, he was in bed. Like he just wanted to cuddle. And I was like, I gotta go. And he was like, how much? And I said, how much for what? And he goes, how much to stay? And I was like, until when? And he said six. And I said, um, oh, I think I sold him 600. And he was like, that's too much. And I was like, okay, fine. I'll add another four. I was like 200 an hour. That's fair. And he said, okay. And we're laying down and I am, first of all, I'm such a germaphobe. So I told him, I was like, you've got to shower. Um, and now he didn't have deodorant on, but even if he put deodorant on, I fucking hate the smell of regular people deodorant. Like I use mineral, wall, mineral uh, salts and water and it doesn't smell like anything and it'll stop you from smelling bad, but it'll keep you, but you will sweat, which you're supposed to sweat. People sweat. That's what we do to get rid of toxins. Anyway, he didn't have anything on. So now he smells a little bit nasty and I was just like, 
fuck? And so he wants to cuddle and he's like, you know, all over me and stuff. And I was just like very uncomfortable. And he was like, he kept saying, get on top of me, get on top of me, get on top of me. And I was like, no, I was like, I told you I would stay for two more hours and cuddle. I was like, that's not cuddling. And he basically, I ended up walking away, um, because, uh, he was gonna get me the money at six in the morning when we were when he was leaving he had to leave at six um, And I was worried that he wasn't gonna have enough fun. And he wasn't gonna pay me so And I didn't want to leave him unhappy either so um, So I ended up walking so I would have made almost 1500 last night, but I didn't but it was the time That's the whole point. It was the time if I had left at Two, and I did leave it two. I had to leave it two because that's when the club closed. If I had left it two, um, you know, I would have only made six. And my goal last night was seven. So blew past my goal. I'm happy about that. But if it hadn't been for the extra time, I wouldn't have been able to do it. So getting there really late, which is a fucking bad habit for me. I do it like I do it like I live in Las Vegas, like I got all the time in the world. And it's just not, that's just not true. And even in Vegas, like, you don't want to show up to work at 2 or 4 in the morning because the crowd's going to, you know, I mean, most likely, it depends on, I guess, the season or whatever, even though Vegas never really sleeps. But I did work at 2.30 a.m. shift once, and I did not fucking like it. So, but, you know, if I go to work at midnight and stay till 5, I like that because I have energy for the full 5 hours and whatever. The point is, if you have a money goal, if you're setting money goals for your evening or day or whatever, I've always felt like this. Maybe I need to up my game a lot, but I've always felt like if you're making $100 an hour, you're doing good. So if you have a $700 goal for the night or whatever it happens to be, get there that many hours before your club closes or before you have to leave or whatever. Because I genuinely think it's time that you need. I mean, uh, I hope... I'm wrong and I hope I can just figure out how to make $200 an hour instead. That would be great. You know, on a consistent basis, that would be fucking great. Um, but I feel like that comes more in terms with regulars and keeping in touch with people and all that stuff that I really should be doing, that all of us should probably be doing because it's extremely profitable. Anyway, I just wanted to throw all that out there before I get my lovely bath with some excellent, uh, well, it's not really that great, but anyway, have a great day or night or whatever. I'll talk to you later. Bye.